I'm at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, which has one of the greatest collections of rockets and space memorabilia anywhere in the world. It's also home to Space Camp, where kids from 7 to 107 can come and train like an astronaut and even participate in a shuttle mission simulation. Let's go take a look inside and learn about some of the space spin-offs that have evolved from the years of space travel. When astronauts work in spacesuits, they're protected from the extreme temperatures of space. Temperatures outside of the International Space Station can range from minus 100 degrees Celsius up to 120 degrees Celsius. That's hot. Did you know that the same technology that helps heat and cool astronauts while performing spacewalks is used to help NASCAR drivers stay cool during a race? I'm talking about the liquid cooling garment. Pretty cool, eh? NASA expects to return to the moon around the year 2018. I'm standing in front of a full-scale model of the Saturn V rocket at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. The Saturn V vehicle originally took NASA astronauts to the moon over 35 years ago. One very popular spin-off from NASA's first trip to the moon is the cordless drill. Astronauts needed a way to drill down deep beneath the moon's surface, as much as 10 feet in places, to collect core samples. Like everything else that went to the moon, this drill had to be small, lightweight, and battery-powered. To develop the drill, NASA chose a company that has since become well-known for its cordless products. Black & Decker. Sometimes technology spin-offs aren't invented by NASA, but are advanced by NASA. One example, the joystick controller. Joysticks are used in lots of things now, from computer games to vehicles for people with disabilities. These devices evolved from research to develop a controller for the Apollo lunar rover. And now, let's examine one of the most recognized and widely used NASA spin-offs. How many of you have seen commercials on TV for mattresses that say they use NASA technology? Well, everyone knows that astronauts don't really sleep on mattresses in space. So how does this use NASA technology? Well, the temper foam was developed by NASA to make the astronauts more comfortable during launch and landing. But it's just so comfy that people thought it would be nice to sleep on. In fact, while waiting for clearance to take off from the launch pad at Kennedy Space Center, astronauts can remain seated for several hours.